How you feeling? Okay, I don't know if I want to finish it. Yeah. It's kind of hard on myself after we left yesterday, but I've redeemed it. I know you don't always get second second shots at stuff in life. I did on this one and I'm really thankful for that. We're Chris and Sarah, a husband and wife traveling creative duo on a mission to experience as much in life as possible. Hey, no, 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 oh my gosh. This channel is dedicated to documenting our adventures that will turn into memories that will last a lifetime. We're inviting you to join us as we try new things, meet new friends, and see the world from a new point of view, one adventure at a time. Let's go. In his book, A Million Miles in a Thousand Years, Donald Miller says fear is a manipulative emotion that can trick us into living a boring life. I walked under the blood red moon And I've seen those wolves gather round while there is a fine line between stupid and brave, it's easy to lean into that fear to play it safe. And over the last few years, I've had to remind myself that sometimes the most impactful moments in life are at first shrouded in fear. Sometimes the sheer reminder that risk is worthwhile is all it takes to take that first step out on the ledge and pursue something that gets your heart racing. This video is all about taking a literal step onto a ledge and hiking one of the most dangerous hikes in America, Zion National Park's Angel's Landing Trail. Waiting for Anya and Josiah to get here. Come on, guys. They should have been here two minutes ago. We haven't seen them in so long. We're just sitting here, both staring at this rock. <laughs> it's a beautiful rock, though, isn't it? So if you don't know who Anya and Josiah are, they are neighbors in Chattanooga. We sort of met them through Instagram when we were house shopping in our neighborhood. Didn't know that we were house shopping in their neighborhood. We bought a house. We ended up being three blocks apart and then they bought their van soon after we bought ours so we were building vans living a few blocks apart in the same neighborhood and they just finished their van what two weeks ago they hit the road mm -hmm. and they're head they headed out west and they're meeting up with us today and i think their van's like 90 percent of us finished i don't think it's totally finished yet i think but that's any van yeah that's true but anyway so they're supposed to be here in a few minutes we get to see them and their van i'm excited that's Hey. <laughs> 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 that man looks so good. It does look good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, He'll get you dirty. He's like it's covered okay. in dust right now. <laughs> I'm literally in pajamas. We're just like Hi. embracing the desert these days. <laughs> I'm so glad do you remember us. Oh yeah. <laughs> How are y'all? <laughs> Park. This is the first time we've been to a new national park in over a year. So we've never been here before 
it's already incredible. We don't really know what to expect, but we have one thing on the agenda today, and that's to hike Angel's Landing. And all we know about this hike is that it's kind of dangerous. You have to hold onto a chain part way up, but we're doing it with Anya and Josiah, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a beautiful day, so we're really excited. The first shuttle this morning was at 7 a.m., and I think we were on the one at like 7.20, so we got an early start today. We're starting our hike to Angel's Landing, and it's like a five and a half mile hike. So it's not that long, but it gets pretty sketchy at the top from what we've seen and heard. A little nervous. It's not for the people who are afraid of heights. I don't hate heights. I don't love them either. We'll see how this goes. I've heard people say this is their favorite park. I just didn't know what to expect, really. How are you guys feeling? We're feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. Shedding layers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's beautiful. Like we've been to Utah before and we've been hanging out in the desert for the last couple weeks in some beautiful places. I was like, well, how much prettier can the desert really get? And then you come here and the walls are just like straight up flat cliffs. I don't know what kind of rock it is. Again, I'm not a geologist, but it's really impressive. Guys, we're out of breath. Let me just show you what we hiked up. But it's good. What do you think? It's gorgeous. Like, blowing me away. I was not expecting it to be this beautiful. Angel Landing is one of those hikes that you hear a lot about. And it's popular for a reason. <laughs> it's beautiful. Step on the other side. Gosh, scary. We've reached the last half mile of the trail and you have to hold a chain to get to the top. And it's two ways, so you're like hanging on and passing people. I'm watching people do it right now. The videos look a little different for a minute. We're gonna put the GoPro on, strap it to Chris's chest and use the GoPro as we're climbing up this. It is not worth it risking filming. <laughs> so we're gonna focus on the hike and what shots we get are the shots we get. You ready? Let's do it. All right. How are you feeling? Okay, I don't know if I want to finish it. Yeah? If you want to go, you can't go. It's kind of like saying, you just got to get a little yeah. dress and be like, I'm coming down. You don't have to, I'm not going to force you. It's not even going to be able to trust it. Don't trust it. One mile. I know. It's just too many people. There's too many people. Um, I didn't make it. No. We didn't go all the way to the top. There's just too many people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a bunch of people sitting up there, so you can see the edge, and then you can see where the chain goes all the way to the top. And so. And you can see it's not worth the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good luck. Okay, Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Sarah, we got it. Okay, I'm gonna let her. It is a zoo. You know, this is probably nothing compared to the summer, too. Huh? We failed. <laughs> Alright, so being totally honest, I hate quitting things. Like, I hate it. We started hiking the chain section of Angel's Landing and we made the first section of chain and I hated it. Like not surprisingly, like I thought I was gonna be scared of the heights. I wasn't actually scared of the heights. I'm not like love heights and I'll hate heights. But the heights part was okay, but there's a lot of people. And we got to the first like break stop between the chains. Like we only made it like 50 feet, 100 feet up on it. And I looked at it and I was like, it's not worth it to me. Like it's just, the view is beautiful here as it is. I'm sure at the very top it's even more incredible, but I don't know. I just, I'd say like 95% of the people know what they're doing. They're like experienced hikers. They're wearing the right shoes. You know, they, they're paying attention. But there are a handful of people that were hiking with us that were, um, I think, more concerned about filming and taking pictures. And they were wearing like, typical street shoes and that scared me there was a guy up there who had like slick bottom cowboy boots who was hiking in front of me going up and I was like oh shoot if he slips I'm in trouble <laughs> so I don't know I'm really disappointed and I hate putting this in the video that we didn't finish it because I don't like quitting things but it's one of those things it's like it is pretty risky people die on it every year in fact in January they're gonna start permitting that section of the hike to where you can't go up it without a permit which I think is long overdue I mean, we're here early in the morning in mid-November and it's crazy busy. And this is nothing compared to the summer. I just, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really sad. Like I have a hard time looking the camera in the eyes right now because <laughs> I'm sad because I really wanted to do it, but it is just too much happening up there for me. Anya and Josiah did it and I feel even worse knowing they're doing it and I'm not doing it, but I don't know. In my gut, I was like, I don't want to do it. I just don't. So we pushed, we pushed, we got up to the top. We didn't really want to do the chain. It was so busy. We were like, I don't really want to go, but we'll, we'll start it. And we started it and we got up there. And we thought about it for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. And we just said it wasn't worth it. So I don't know if you've come and you've done it, you're braver or crazier. I'm not sure whichever one than we are, but <laughs> it is completely beautiful up here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And we can see the top of it up there and I'm sure it's amazing. Don't kill me. We made a little bit up. I was like, I can't do it. I was like, where's that yellow jacket? <laughs> yeah, we were looking <laughs> everywhere. Thank you. We, I mean, we're grateful that yeah. we I got saw to you. do it. You guys are just like, oh, no, not that <laughs> All right, so talk, talk to me really quick. How, like, how is it? It's awesome. Um, it's scary in a few spots, but um, people are nice. People are polite. Everybody helps each other out. It's a great hike. Yeah. Yeah. Josiah, when he gets excited, he just like beelines it, and I'm like, babe, <laughs> can we slow down the pace? Yeah. He owned it though. Yeah. He did it. The chains are a must. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I just I lost it. And then we sat down here, we were waiting. We were like, well, maybe we should do it. And this girl came down and she had gone like, she said she was almost the end. She did like 80% of it. Yeah. And she had like a full on panic. She was like sitting there sobbing. Oh. I was like, well, yeah. I can't do this. <laughs> yeah. Today's not the day. She's a woman on a mission. We hauled butt up the 
those first two miles. So we're at Scout's Landing now. And then the last half mile up is the chain section. So we made it yesterday a little bit into it, not super far. It's already, I'd say there's maybe 20% of the people that were here yesterday. I mean, it is, the crowds are so light. We didn't get past once on the trail on the way up, which granted we were going really fast, but I mean, we are towards the front. We got here about the same time as yesterday. People are crawling up the chain. There's only people going one direction so far. So I'm hoping that we make it farther. <laughs> All right, let's you, do this. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm more excited today. I'm already like a lot more calm about it just because like there were a lot of factors that were making me nervous yesterday, but primarily the people were making me the most nervous. Like I, I trusted myself, but I don't necessarily trust others. It's kind of like driving or swimming. Like, you know, you don't trust, like if somebody's drowning, you don't jump in after them. I was worried somebody was gonna grab me yesterday if they started to fall. That was my biggest fear. But anyway, crowds are a lot lighter. I see a break on the first chain, so I think we're gonna go. All right, let's go. Let's go. We did this? <laughs> Holy smokes. What do you think? than yesterday I was it's kind of hard on myself after we left yesterday but I've redeemed it I know you don't always get second second shots at stuff in life but I did on this one and I'm really thankful for that it's a really amazing hike how are you feeling I'm feeling great being the cameraman hanging off a cliff our friends Anya and Josiah said that when you get up here, the rocks look like biscuits. She is not wrong. And now I just want biscuits and gravy. <sighs> they do, they look like this little flaky layer of biscuits. <laughs> I see it, I do. All right, so we're at the top. They don't have an elevator, they don't have an escalator. Somebody told us there's a beer garden at the top and they were definitely lying. Yeah, they lied. So we're gonna go back down which may be an adventure in and of itself, but. <laughs> All I can think is the girl who got down to the bottom yesterday and when she sat down next to us, to her next with her friends, and she was just like sobbing and shaking. She's like, I just need a minute. She was like having a full blown panic attack after finishing it. She like, she was haunting me because I'm like, Sarah, I don't know if I want to do this now after the way she was acting, um, you know? So I would say, listen to yourself. If you don't like heights or hanging on a chain off the side of a cliff, this may not be for you. But half dome hiking half dome we really want to get a permit for that i've always wanted to hike that but it's another one of those hikes where you hang onto a chain to go up and i told myself yesterday i was like if i can't do this i don't need to get a permit for half dome but i did this and now i feel like i can get a permit all right let's keep on going Whoa, now the 
All right, guys, we made it off the cliff. The what? The cliff. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. The... Anyway. Be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.